Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I have another 1991 world champion Chicago White Sox from Stratomatic. My Stratomatic 1991 world champion White Sox. Taking on another 1996 American League team. And today it's going to be the Kansas City Royals. And we're going to be at home. We're going to be the home team. And um, I will be going into that game very shortly. But uh, we're coming into this game. This is going to be the fourth game. And we are coming into this game um, one and two. We lost to Boston and we lost to Cleveland and we beat Texas. So that's what our record is right now as it stands. And I'm going to make the changes here because it really has a messed up lineup for me. So um, Pasqua should be in right. Um, we'll put, well, really we should put Cole at lead off. So, and then Kevin Ma should be the DH. Mullenix at third, although I probably really want Wallach at third, so. And, uh. John Russell at first base. I don't, I don't really know about that. That's not the greatest idea. In fact, why don't we put Mullenix at first? And uh, bring Karkovice down behind them. So, I think that this is a lineup I can more uh, readily live with. And uh, my phone has been going off, so let's see what we got here. Um, so we are, I think we're ready to go. We're going to have... Um, uh, we're going to have Tom Bolton on the mound, and they are going to have, uh, I don't know, let's see, Julio, is that Julio Rosado? I don't remember, but anyway, I guess we'll find out in a moment. But I, uh, yeah, I've got Bolton on the mound. The last two, the last three, in the last three games, I think it was McDowell who pitched for me, um, Candiotti, I know Candiotti pitched for me against Cleveland. And Bud Black pitched for me. So those three have already pitched. So now we've got Bolton, and I think we are ready to go. We'll turn down the sound. And so we are ready to go, I think. So there's Bolton, and he is pitching to Jose Offerman. Jose Offerman leading off for the Royals, and he's out. And now this is Tom Goodwin. And I think in the future, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to hold myself to just playing 1996. Craig Paquette. So, yeah, I'm not going to just play 96 teams. Sometimes I'll branch out and play some other years, teams from other years. So, Bolton gets the side, and now we come up in the bottom of the first with Alex Cole leading off against um, Rosado. And he gets a base hit, and he could steal. That dude can steal, although he can't right there, 65%. Um, I am, I'm just going to, I'm just going to let Puck hit hit. I'm not a big, you know, and you're going to notice I'm not a big hit and run fan. Well, that's a nice, that might be a double. 
Well, that was a good idea. So now Puckett hit a double, and now it's him in second and Cole at third with Dan Pasqua. And he's going to hit a dribbler, but that might not going to run. No, it got past him. It was a, what was that? A double? Pasqua, let's see. Rosado is going to die. Yeah, it's, he got a double with it. Hmm. All right, so now Kevin Moss up. My 65 home run hitting Kevin Moss. He hit 65 home runs that year. So, yeah. Tim Wallach up, and he, of course, makes the first out. The guy that hit 65 home runs makes the first out. And then he, Wallach, maybe, yeah, moves Pasqua over to third. So now there's two down. Pasqua 90 feet away, and we have Rance Mullenix up. And he, and he gets, he beats out the throw and knocks in the third run. Uh, we're kicking Kansas City's butt now. Karkovice, Ron Karkovice. And he is out. So now Bolton goes out to the mound with a three-run lead after one inning. So that's pretty sweet. And that's it. So McFarland comes up with one down. Mike McFarland. And he's out. And now Kevin Young. Kevin Young. I don't remember Kevin Young. I don't think. And that's going to be a fly out, looks like. So, yeah. Nice, another nice inning for Bolton. Bolton is mowing people down, and we're getting on base and hitting and everything. And here's Guillen. Ozzy Guillen. Former shortstop, former manager. And uh, he's going to be uh, out. That brings up Rene Gonzalez, the second baseman for us today. And did he get a hit? No. And now Alex Cole is back up for his second time this game. And he is going to fly out, looks like, and that's going to be that. But we still got a 3 nothing lead. And now Johnny Damon is coming up against my man Bolton. And that's going to be a base hit. We're not going to watch him. And Rand is up. Joe Randa. Joe Randa was a good one, wasn't he? Now he's going to, what is that, a single double asterisk? Yeah. And now that brings up Dave Howard. I'm just going to play the infield back because, I mean, we got a 3 nothing lead. So, But that's a walk. Come on, Bolton. Come on. So we got Jose Offerman out. Is that a double play? No. Ah, uh, man. 3-1. to one. A run already in. And Tom Goodwin up. I'll pitch the Goodwin. Oh my God, he beats the throw at three to two. Now all of a sudden Bolton's in a little bit of trouble with Craig Paquette up. And now he should be um, out of trouble, hopefully. And that is a strike, so now it's uh, Joe Vitello. I seem to I remember that name, but I don't remember the guy. And it doesn't help that I don't have his picture in in the database. So, but he flies out, and it is three to two, Chicago now. So I've got Kirby Union Gap Pucket up against Rosado, and he is going to fly out. It looks like, and Dan Pasqua. Up. Dan Pascal with a hit. Yep, Dan Pascal with a hit. Now, come on, Moss. Go deep. 
Hit one of those homers. And no. It's going to be a little pop fly outfield. And now Timmy Wallach is up. And he's going to hit a dribbler, but does it get through? No. So it is still three to two. Bolton still clinging to his slim one run lead with McFarland up. And it looks like McFarland flying out. And that brings up Kevin Young. This was a part of the order, I think, that did some damage to him. And he got on. And so now Damon's up. Yeah. And he got a hit again. So um, I'm, I'm going to stop the runner. And we're going to play for the double play. And we don't get it. So let's, I'll stop the runner again. Man, this part of the lineup is really kicking Bolton's ass. All right, um, I'm going to throw for the runner, try to get him out. Nope, he's safe. All right, well, yeah, they tied the well. Was that a double play? No. All right, so he just a pop out. So uh, Dave Howard up. The score is tied now at three. What looked like we were going to have a cakewalk early on has turned into we're in trouble. Mullenix up against Rosado. And he is out. And that brings up Karkovice. I kind of look like Karkovice, don't I, with my helmet on and everything. And uh, Ozzie Guillen. And he's going to fly out. So we are going to the top of the fifth in a 3-3 game with Bolton. I'm going to still have Bolton out there, but I don't know. We need to put him on a short leash. Out, oh, and then Tom Goodwin. With this, you know, and the way we've been, I've been doing this is I've been playing one team every time, like no three-game series. Is. So it's almost like we're a barnstorming team. We're just like barnstorming, going around the country, playing different teams. Uh, Goodwin is on with Paquette up and one out. And pops out, hopefully, yeah. And now that brings up Joe Vitello, who is over two on the bay, and over three with a strike count. So we go to the bottom of the fifth in a tie game at three, with Gonzalez facing Rosado. And Gonzalez is 0 for 1. And did he get a hit there? No. No. Alex Cole, who is 1 for 2. And will not get one there. And Kirby Union Gap Puckett was 1 for 2 with a double today. And he may have another double. He did have a lot of doubles that year. I think over 40. I don't recall exactly. Let's see. Can I click on him? Yeah, I can. Yeah, he had 45 doubles that year. So. All right. So we got Pasqua up. He's two for two, though. He's having a great day. And he might have something. Maybe. Yes, he does. And it's another, it's a double. Pass was having a day. And that brings up Kevin Moss, who hasn't done anything. And he, what, walks? Okay, so Tim Wallach's up with two on and two down. And now we have a four to three lead. 
could really use a big hit here. And did he get it? No. So McFarlane is up at the plate to lead off the bottom of the, or the top of the sixth against Bolton, who is now clinging to a one run, slim one run lead. And it looks like he hit the ball over Cole's head. Oh man, he got it. Unbelievable. Huh. All right, so Kevin Young is up with one out. Cole making a spectacular grab, I'm sure for him, since he was a center field three. And now Johnny Damon, who's two for two. Damon has been a thorn in his ass. But he makes the play. No, he doesn't. Damon's on. So, uh, hmm. I don't know. Damon is like Ted Williams this game. But then again, so is Pasqua. So I can't really complain. And that's going to be an out. And so now we get out of the uh, sixth and we go to the bottom of the sixth. With uh, four, four to three lead. And Mullenix up. And Mullenix ripping the hit. Ripping the hit. And Karkovice, I'm going to let Karkovice hit. And he's not going to be getting a hit. So that's a double play. And now Gian up. And that might be something. Yeah, that might be even a double. Or a home run. Is that a home run? No, it's a foul. Don't tease me like that. So now he's out. We go to the um, top of the seventh. Uh, Dave Howard up. This will probably be Bolton's last inning. So I'm hoping he can just get us out of this. One out and Offerman up. And maybe a fly ball or a ground ball. Yes, and now Goodwin is up. I'm Goodwin. And he's going to get a base hit. And Paquette is up. Uh, yeah, I'll throw for him. And we got him. All right, well, that wasn't a smart move by Kansas City. Uh, so I've got Rene Gonzalez up to play. And he is beating it out. And Cole's up. I'm going to bunt with Cole. I am still going to bunt with Cole. Double play. Pops into a double play. Crazy. All right. So, got to puck it up now. And looks like he's out. And I am going to take Bolton out of the game. I'm going to bring in um, huh, who am I going to bring in? I guess I will bring in um, Barry Jones. And he got the first guy, Paquette. And that brings up Joe Vitello. And did he get him? Yep. And now that brings up Mike McFarland. <laughs> and Mike McFarland is out, looks like. So, yeah. And now we got Pasqua up in the top of the eighth, or the bottom of the eighth, sorry, bottom of the eighth. And he's three for three, and he is not going to keep his perfect day, doesn't look like. Nope. And now Kevin Moss is up, 
hasn't hit a home run yet. In fact, he's been over two with a walk, and now he's over three with a walk. And uh, Tim Wallach. Tim Wallach is probably going to be safe. He's safe. Nice. Now Rance Mullenix is up. And that's going to be a fly ball. So I'm going to take Barry Jones out. Probably going to bring in Radinsky. I mean, uh, yeah, you got to believe that's where I'm going. Bring in Radinsky. To nail it down against Kevin Young. And uh, he's not nailing it down. So now Johnny Damon, who's three for three. And they're gonna they're gonna pinch hit for Johnny Damon, who was three for three with Mike Sweeney. Although I don't even know why Mike Sweeney wasn't in the game. The computer does these crazy things. Whoa, what was that? Hmm. I guess they picked him off first. So now Mike Sweeney is up with one out. And he's out, and now it's Joe Rand. It's all up to Joe Rand now. And he might be out. No, he caught it on a hop. So now it's Dave Howard up. Now it's all up to Dave Howard. Nope, they're going to pinch hit Bip Roberts. Again, I don't know why Bip Roberts wasn't in the game to begin the game, but it's crazy how the computer does the, that kind of stuff. What in the heck is going on? Just pitch. Finally. All right, so Jose Offerman is up with two on and two out. And now he pinch hits. He's going to pinch hit. He's going to try to get a lead. He's going to play around. And is that a fly out? Yes. And we do win the game. We finally hang on to win the game after all of his little antics that he was going through. And uh, so, yeah, our, yeah, I mean, Dan Pascal was three for four. That guy was crazy, crazy good this game. And uh, Bolton went seven and allowed three earned runs and two walks, eight hits. Barry Jones came on, had a really clean inning, and then Radinsky came on, and his inning wasn't quite as clean. And that's going to be it for me, but I want to remind everybody, subscribe and share and ring the bell so that you know when I got new videos out. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.